it's, it's, uh, it's an idea pad with Mickey Mouse ears on it. Just not a joke, just telling you. So, uh, yeah, I'm Justin Powell. I'll start off, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I named my penis uh, John Hancock. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really awkward when people ask for my signature in a creative fashion now. Oh yeah, sir, let's get you John Ca Hancock right there. Oh, yeah, I gotta get hard first, though. You need the full experience. I do have some plans. I'm only 19 right now, but I got some plans for when I'm older. I'm gonna convert to Judaism, and then I'm gonna have a kid, and I'm gonna name him Christian. <laughs> That kid's gonna get his ass whooped at the synagogue. <laughs> probably not though, they'll probably just take his money. He's gonna be good at math though. That's a little segue. He's gonna be good at math because the next show is about math. And you see, I really don't like math that much. I feel like it's, it kind of pushes it too far. Like, sometimes you'll get a good life lesson out of it, but then it just goes a little bit too far, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of questions like, well, Johnny ate 12 out of the 18 cookies on the platter. What percentage of the cookies did Johnny eat? We don't need to know the percentage. We've already learned the life lesson. Johnny's fat. <laughs> and a greedy son of a bitch. 12 out of the 18, bro? Like, do you never eat? <laughs> Why don't we try to figure out the percentage that Johnny ever gets laid in his life? <laughs> I saw a guy the other day with a, a shirt on. I see a lot of guys with shirts on. Uh, but this shirt said, free hugs. So I walked up to him and I said, free hugs. I had no idea they were in captivity. <laughs> Somebody needs to do something about this, man. Where the fuck are kisses, too, man? We need to free everything. Every type of connection. I wonder if, uh, if Ed Hardy ever solved any mysteries with his brothers. <laughs> Hardy brothers. I like that you read that. Or did he just consult the fashion police? Do you think if, if Where's Waldo and Carmen Sandiego had kids, the kids would be invisible? Yes. Thank you for actually answering. No one else answered. It's not a tough question. Motherfuckers. No, not really. I'm sorry. Every kiss begins with K. Unless you're dyslexic. Dyslexic's kind of a tough word to spell as it is. I think that's kind of ironic. I, uh, I don't think dogs man's best friend because I don't think any friendship should rely on me picking up their shit. <laughs> this isn't a friendship. This is friend shit. Do you see what I did there? I took the P out and put the T in. So it's friend shit. It's very clever. Stay with me. If a female cat licks herself, is that cannibalism? Because that cat's eating pussy. It's a quick show. My boss, um, my boss used to always get on my back. He used to always, you know, rag me for getting my job done. Uh, so I seduced her and started having sex with her. Uh, my strategy being, I'd get her off my back by getting her onto hers. <laughs> Worked out pretty far, pretty, pretty good so far. Yeah, I'm dyslexic too, but just by speaking. Um, let's see, what do I got here? Fat girl. Oh, hey. So, guys, this is mainly for guys. Girls, maybe. Hermaphrodites, possibly. Uh, trannies, yes, it can also work for you. Uh, if you meet a fat girl who loves hot dogs and has short-term memory, don't let her blow you. Speaking from experience, they bite down your John Hancock. It doesn't feel good. That guy was a revolutionary leader. Does not deserve to be bitten. I met a guy... Uh, Last week at a party who told me he was a virgin by choice. I said, really? Whose choice is it? <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be cool if when gay men woke up in the morning, they just yelled, Flame on! <laughs> and they turned a fire and went and fought crime. If you understand the reference there, I, I applaud you, actually. I was uh, having sex with a girl the other day, and she started singing It's a Small World After All. Probably because I stole one of those animatronic girls from the ride and started having sex with her, but it was still pretty, pretty killing. You know, I've always been a bad magician. I'm not a great magician, but uh, if my audience is full of blind people, 
I'm the best <laughs> fucking magician in the world. And it's like, yo, you guys didn't see, but I just pulled a rabbit out of a hat. And that lady I saw apart really, yeah, she's back together. Just trust me. I went to Hogwarts. I know my shit. <laughs> Did anyone ever see those, uh, those Go Daddy commercials? Yeah, like I, I never had any idea what they were, to be honest with you. Because it's always just like girls like stripping, and I was like, oh, it's a porn site, clearly. But then my friend told me, no, Justin, it's actually, it's a site that helps you set up your own website. And then you can own it, and you know, they help you with everything. And I'm like, oh, that's really surprising. Because I had no idea that the prospect of owning my own website would give me such a boner. Because <laughs> every single time it comes on, my dish is a twang. Oh, hey. Yeah, it just goes twang, like a bow and arrow. That's how my dick sounds. Elves really dig it. So, I think it's cool. They always have uh, Danica Patrick in their commercials too. The, uh, like a bow and she's that like, racer chick from NASCAR. And I never understood why she's in it, because she's always complaining about how the male drivers don't take her seriously. And then she goes out and she strips on TV, which is just doesn't make sense to me, because you know, it's tough to respect someone you work with when you also masturbate to them. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna end off on this joke. Um, I had the worst rejection a man could ever have the other day. Um, my hand fell asleep while I was masturbating. <laughs> Fucking righty. All right, I'm Justin Powell, thank you very much.